All right, howdy boyos. Welcome back to more Men of War Assault Squad 2. Today, we are going to be playing as German paratroopers or Fallschirmjäger defending Monte Cassino in Italy in 1943. Uh, there'll, there'll be some history uh, parts of this video, but I figured we'll just get straight into the combat. The initial artillery strikes hit and the Allies are pushing, as you can see, with armor and infantry screened by said armor. We have a pretty decent defense set up here initially. Our goal is to hold the river. We'll be hopefully getting some reinforcements. We don't have a ton of anti-tank equipment up here to the front, but as you can see as we get closer up here towards the actual fortress of Monte Cassino, which is a little bit glitchy with the camera. It's kind of annoying. Uh, you can see that there's quite a little bit of a defense over here. Well, we've, well, we've already lost the initial defense here. This actually isn't going too well. We need to find... Look at the deer. Let's see, does this guy have any... Panzer Grenade 40s or heat? Oh, he's gonna be running away from us though. I don't know if we can catch that guy. Let's see, we intercept the Crusader. Three, two, one, Cobra. Oh, God damn it. I mean, he was, out of, he was out of range anyway, but that's not very good. We need to rush up some guys with Panzer Fausts. So one thing I didn't get here, I didn't really put a lot of anti-tank soldiers over here because I really thought that that pack gun would survive a little longer than initially the first, like, eight seconds of the game. Okay, that didn't necessarily stop. Damn it, alright, it didn't necessarily do anything. Is this thing just gone, gone? It looks like it. We might have to... Oh, never mind. We're good. Alright, let's, let's just not say anything about that one. I believe we do have a Flak 88 somewhere back here. Is this just gonna take these shells and not care? Come here, Sherman. Oh, oh no! <laughs> All right, well he's down, but we managed. That was a nice grenade. All right, we managed to get this one down. Another way of coming in. We have a single Flak 88 here on the flank, which is probably going to be doing the most of the work. I did get it an ammo crate because I uh, there wasn't one there, and I figured we were going to need one. So, not a lot of anti-tank. I did just call up some new soldiers to try and resupply the front here uh, with a Panzer Shrek and a Panzer Faust. Oh, the Crusader just got eliminated. That's very good. No, 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 no. Drop your binoculars and we'll drop an anti-tank. Oh, I should run up here. Machine gunner, you need to actually get eyes on something. Run up, run up, run up, run up, run up, run up. And ammo grenade. And now we switch to a T grenade, and then we hope that the Sherwood drives like right into this. We are using ROPS, by the way, which means German AT grenades are literally a bundle of M24 stick grenades. So they are very effective, I feel like. Uh, hopefully, this crate drops as a TNT or something. Oh. Uh, Alright. Oh, we're stuck on the track. Okay. Oh no, we need to support. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, these guys all got knocked over from the blast. Okay, we need to support our boyos that are nearby. They are stuck, however, behind. Oh, god dang it. Alright, uh, we'll get a uh, Falshing Meager unit and we'll send them down there. I don't really want to mess around with these guys because we can't really. I don't want to dislodge the defenders too much. Where did my... Oh, here's my anti-tank boys. Okay. Let's see. We have the support. And then we'll send the two Panzerfaust guys. Okay, we got that one. We need to get this squad to go help the ambushed infantry. There's a bunch of guys is down the ridge, but we'll have to figure it out in a second. Uh, Panzerfaust. This is kind of chaotic. Panzerfaust, 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 Panzerfaust. Come on, come on, come on. Move up, move up, move up, move up. And that should be a decent target. <laughs> it was. That was a very decent target. So far, so good. Oh, he kind of fired that up. Oh, get away from the flames, bro. Go, oh, dude, what are you doing? Oh my god, I hate when AI is like a little crazy like that. We don't have a medic. We don't have time to medic our people up. They go down, they go down. That was a good hit with the Panzer Shrek. Not doing enough damage, however. 
Alright, let's fall off. Mm -hmm. That might have been the <laughs> might have been the Flak 88 doing that one. Oh my god. Alright, let's grab some medical supplies from this dude. Sorry, buddy, you're not gonna need them anymore. You're, you're dead. So Monte Casino was brutal. I'm not sure <laughs> if it was this brutal. My god. Also, we're running into uh we just got ambushed over here. That's really annoying. All right. Heal up, because you're bleeding. Start spreading out. Deploy the machine guns. Come on. Don't tell me we lost the FG-40. Damn, we lost the FG-42. I might have to get a medic and start helping out the... Uh... This, this, this attack is a lot wider than I thought it would be. Panzerfaust. All right, there goes... We got stewards uh, coming in here now, too. They're flanking our position over here, actually. We need to run these guys in a better spot than they are currently. Is it a half-track or, or something engaging us? Is this a Flak 88 in a position to engage some of these vehicles? Looks like it. I don't know if these are Americans. Oh, no, these are um, more Commonwealth horses. So, Monte Cassino was like the Brits, and I think the French played a huge role in this. If I'm not mistaken, there was a Polish contingent, so... We have our work cut out for us here, and it looks like they're going to be coming from a lot of directions. Um, Anti-tank grenade. That's all we got left to charge the enemies with here. Grenade. Back in the trench. Ooh, that was a good hit. He is no longer capable of fighting back. Our... Oh, there goes another... Oh my god, everything just blew up there. That was awesome. That was a turd. Just blew off this steward. Medic. Get him up. Mostly wanted a medic for the FG-42, because it's such a strong weapon. These guys are still bleeding after I woke them up. That's bad. Get them up. And we'll push, I guess, towards the convoy. I'm not really sure if a Yak Panther would make sense in 1943. I don't know if that's very realistic. I'm trying to remember if Yak Panthers were around in 43, or that was a 44 thing. But regardless, we are going to have to uh, rescue the convoy. Whether or not it's realistic or not, so we'll send out our Jaeger this way. We have to deal with... This Sherman is down. Or it's... Yeah, it's not alive. Give you some ammo. Get in the trench, you'll get ammo there. Oh, that was very awkward. He just got destroyed. Alright, this con... This little... Section of boils at least got eliminated. This will run the assault section. I guess I should have switched the assault section a little bit around, but as long as we get to the convoy itself, we could probably take some of their guys over. Hello there, lords. Oh, we that guy just got headshotted. I'm pretty sure because he just he's not able to be revived. There is oh they're commandos. They're just okay. That's what ambushed our convoy. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, this pack gun, not doing very hot. Yo, oh, I need to put some STG guys on this thing for, nope. Let's get support troops down here, gun crew. Take these guys off. We can always get this to come back. Uh, this guy, I hit the binocular thing in this game. I sometimes just don't want to drop the binoculars and it's kind of annoying. We were able to deal with their vehicle so far. We have another two minutes left. We have a half truck pushing up here, right to our right flank. Reload, reload, uh, reload, reload. Must be full of Commonwealth, or it must have been supported by Commonwealth. They're kind of just sitting there. They don't really want to push up after they saw their flat gun just eat. Oh, is this thing out of ammo already? Oh, that's not good at all. We need more artillery ammo ASAP, because this thing has just been hammering away at enemies. <laughs> Jesus. This is insane. I'm not even sure where half the rounds are coming from. And it might be on this ridge over here, because I don't know if I'm using uh, those huge-ass rounds. I don't think I am. The flak's out of ammo, that's for sure. Let's try and... There's a bunch of Panzer Grenadiers here. They're not really doing anything. They're kind of just like, hey, we're hanging out. This guy's bleeding. Get in cover, get in cover, and heal. MG suppressing with the FG over here as well. We'll have them deploy. That's a rifle grenade. Alright, have the car guy push up to watch the map to make sure they're not pushing too hard onto our positions. So the machine gun and the FG-42 managed to suppress. That's the wrong grenade. Managed to suppress the uh, commandos. 
So we are able to now walk up on the commander's positions, teach them a lesson about grenades. Still one guy alive. Don't know if I can get this dude right here. There's two guys alive, I think. We'll we'll secure this in a second. We have well lost the additional but it's still barely alive. Has this sniper even got anyone yet? Dude. Put this guy in a better spot than he is now. Uh we might rotate him into this position. Alright, we're pulling back to the town, apparently. Uh why don't we have everyone here run there? And then uh, we'll leave some guys out here. Oh, we try and retreat. Okay, well, well, we'll retreat some of them. But the sniper, for example, is going to just stay here now. It'd be good to get this guy back because he is kind of an important. He's a good gun. Okay, the sniper, I should probably get back now. Oh, he just got wrecked. Damn. The second I grabbed him, he got destroyed. Black 88 needs ammo so bad. Where's the ammo crate? You're stuck on the... Oh, no. Ammo crate's just going to be stuck on the ridge. That's cool. We'll get you down. ASAP. Let's run. Let's run. Oh, we're taking heavy fire here. we got to get this uh, flak. Or uh, what is it called? No, sorry. Not a flak. It's a yak panther. we got to get it out of this position it's in. we got to get a couple of grenades on these foxholes. This is the standard old conversation I have with myself and you guys, I guess, where it's like, would you rather dive on a grenade and die that way, or would you want to run the risk of, like, jumping out of the foxhole and seeing what happens with a grenade, or, like, you know, with the enemy spot you're running out? Can we please get access to the crew? Okay, we got access to some of these grenadiers. But this thing is messed up. Oh, we. Oh, hello. Stoog. We have some waffle SS. That's. That's awesome, actually. And an extra two Stoogs. Okay, well, let's drive those to town. We have another Stoog. Uh, Yak Panzer IV? Oh, hell yeah. All right, we don't have a lot of time left. We gotta hurry this Yak Panzer. Oh, we have a, they're just coming. They're not stopping yet. Oh my God. We have a lot of units here now. Uh, I guess we'll throw all these guys together. Oh, we have two more over here. They are, wow. They literally just gave us an entire platoon worth of tanks. That's pretty epic actually. Can we get these Fallship Jaeger to roll up into town somewhere? And this is being repaired. We'll have, use these Panzer Grenadiers. We'll get them on the ridge. And uh, we're going to have to get this ammo crate up to the flat gun. Wait, what is this? Did I do that? Why are they all up standing around here? That seems like a bad idea. I mean, I might have done it. Let's get these guys off the, uh, oh my god. I'm surprised it didn't take an HE shell and just explode. Alright, we'll put them, we'll worry about those guys later. We need to get this ammo crate up here ASAP. Oh no, there goes that. Alright, we don't have a lot left. We can have, this Cromwell's now pushing in over to cross the main bridge. Ooh, that was a good round. I don't know what that was, like a heat rocket? Oh, it might have been the Panzer Shrek rocket. I have a nice Panzer Shrek set up over here. Um, please explode. Oh, that was just short. I have a good Panzer Shrek set up over here. He's out of ammo, though, which is really not good. Where's my officer? I know he's over here somewhere. Officer, get ammo grenades. Get the radio operator with some grenades, maybe. That's a... Oh no. Uh, guys, anyone? Hopefully this reaches this dude. What? Oh god damn. Oh, they're behind us now. What is this? Oh, they're, okay, they're flanking us here. Oh, this is bad. Our Yak Panther is ready, however. A Panther is ready. 
Alright, we need to figure out what we're gonna do here. Maybe these guys can instead help and defend the uh, the road over here. Clearly, there's enemies coming from that direction, and we've lost a bunch of these guys. The ammo crate, <laughs> the ammo crate stuck. You got it. You can't make this up. Run! Oh my God. Meta warp. I almost said arma path fighting. Oh, the gun is gone. I repeat, the gun is gone. That's not very good. Creating some cover for me in these houses, though. Thank you, thank you. They are flanking all around us over here. Surprised that we are still alive. We could, there's so many Cromwells. No, don't hit the house. Hit one of these guys. Why aren't you shooting yet? What? That rocket just disappeared. All right, well, that rocket just disappeared. That's a bit of a piss off. This guy's still alive somehow. No, I shouldn't have said that. I don't know why I said that with my big mouth. I always ruin it for myself when I say stuff like that. Like, oh, this guy is still... Oh, what? He's alive again? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> he just decided... To... Oh, he's still alive. I think he's bleeding, though. No, he is dead. He is not waking up from that one. Not anytime soon, anyway. Not feeling very good. Let me put it that way. This gun still up. Man it with whatever we got. There is so many Cromwells over here now. Oh, is the gun dead? Oh, it is. And we have a ton of ammo. They repaired a gun. Get you. Jump over the wall, sir. Anywhere you want to do it. Anywhere you want to... Oh, Alright, is this going to be stuck here? That's great. We have a... What is this? Oh, it's an artillery? Oh, no, it's a 17-pounder. They are... Oh, they're coming from the other flank now. Can we hit any of this? Oh, there's artillery coming in. We get, need to get more Falschemeager to cover this other side of the map. This... Oh, they're, they're spawning all around us. I didn't realize this would be this crazy. Um... All right, why don't we figure this one out? Smart like. I don't even know where my other Stug went. Oh, this is kind of bad. This might be it. Hopefully that we bounce this round. Oh, we didn't fire one. All right, thank you. That's not a kill shot though. And he's still very much alive. Although you can put another one right there and that should put him out. We need to reposition our stuff. Where'd my other stew go? Okay, here. Reposition this stoog over there. That is bad. Infantry, they are pushing on the side really hard. We don't have anyone covering this flank. They're just rushing up the hill right now behind us. Get into position, boys. They're like right next to the fortress too. It's not like, this is not a joke. They're like right on top of us here. All right, let's put some guys on the gun. And uh, we need to figure out how to spread out over here because we are not gonna be doing very hot. They're coming right up on us. They're like, they're right in front of us. Mortar, do something. Shoot, shoot. Anyone. The AI is just, there's, I think there's a machine gun here. Can you not see down? I don't think he can see down enough. Oh no. And the, the Australians are like pushing right up to the wall. We gotta put all of our guys. They're gonna start blasting some. There's so many little corners and stuff to come out of. We're right on top of them here. Um, boys? Anyone? It's. They're too close. Oh, men of war. No, that's a grenade. Oh no, oh no. This is bad. I need... I thought there was a... Oh, this is not a machine gun. Okay, we have another 11 minutes to hold this. This is going to be really rough. We've lost a track on the Panzer IV. I don't think he is... Oh no, we can see him. The Panther is holding here. We need the Panther to uh, come up the ridge and just do something crazy for us. Because we're about to lose this area. There's so many guys just below me here. Can we just throw like just a bunch of grenades? Like this is a hellhole of a battle. 
And I think the allies initially didn't want to bomb the fortress because it was like, you know, of historical significance and stuff. But then they were like, you know what, screw it, we're going to do it anyway. And bombing it made it way easier for the Germans to use the, you know, ruins as defending positions. So, they, if anything, dead grenading it made it so much worse for the allies to attack instead of easier. Uh, which is the allies obviously were used to just bomb this shit out of stuff, right? Damn, that was a good uh, rifle grenade. There is a lot of... There's Churchills coming in now? My lord. Well, we dealt with the majority of their stuff over here. We have to call in my artillery uh, boyo back. We're going to call more Falschemir to cover this position. Kind of annoyed these guys aren't shooting them as accurately as I wanted them to, but that's all right. Mortar, keep going. Is this smoke or HE? Okay. Secretly hoping that was like white phosphorus or something, but you can't have everything, I suppose. I really need to start putting some guys in like these windows, if that's at all a possibility, and hoping that these windows provide any sort of firing position. We're gonna find out here in a second when we put them in there. It seems like they might be bugged because they hold their like rifle to their chest, and it's like a stereotypical like men of war bug. Uh, men of war, why do you do this? This could have been so cool. Right now, they're just kind of sitting there and letting themselves get shot at. I just heard an explosion behind me. Okay, we have sort of have dudes in the windows. I don't know how effective they are, but, you know, they're in there. But they are a little bit buggy. Men of War's windows are buggy to begin with, but... Like, I'm not really sure how the buildings work. This guy's gonna go up the stairs and just gonna sit there. Wow, what the hell is that? I don't know what oh there's heavy mortars we gotta target those uh there we go mortar of rotation yak panther i mean we managed to stop that push down the middle that's very good we'll take out these last two vehicles hope Hopefully, that wasn't very accurate. They are like at the fortress door. I'm kind of happy that I just spammed a bunch of Falschemjäger running out, covering this flank. I kind of figured there would be a little more to this than just the main front area of the map. Hence why I loaded the entire fortress up and not just on the one side of this map, like this part that we've been defending, the front part, the western part. Because I had this feeling they'd be coming from more than one direction, but they are coming from every direction. Luckily, having those tanks was kind of a big help, because I don't know if I would have been able to hold the town. We have the radio officer. He needs to come on the ridge. We have the panther. He needs to drive all the way up the road. We have a Churchill down here. Where's my radio officer? Did he just get wrecked? Where did he go? Oh, it's over here. It's lost him for a good second. Okay, well, at least we managed to stop them from rushing up on us as they did. They were just running up on the hill, and that's really bad. That's a perfect grenade. I don't know if... Ow, 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 ow. Alright, let's get you down the building here. And we'll just use this guy as a mortar instead. Hopefully, oh, they're they're lobbing rifle grenades right back at us. By the way, there is no no thought about that. Churchill, I don't know if this AT grenade is gonna probably gonna do nothing to it. It's on a flank, behind it, engine deck. That actually immobilized it, so that's good. But this gun is down, and I don't think we can... This guy's is like, stucky here. Oh, no, he's not stuck. Let's see if we can use some heat on this thing. I don't think we can even hit anything. Yeah, it's just we can just see the sandbags. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was really stupid. Okay, that was a... That was enough a 2 IQ play there. Panther. Damn, that's a lot of dudes. Okay, APC, BC. 
I don't know how good we can deal with these Churchills, but we're going to have to just sit here and hope that we can take some shots. I think the turrets on these Churchills are what are the weaker spots, not the hulls. Well, obviously the side of the hull would be a weak spot, but I mean, from the front, the turrets are... I think we just took down at least one. Yeah, that one's burning up really nicely. Oh, that's a good hit. My commander just ducked into his turret off of that one. Nobody even saw that. That was really cool, actually. Second Churchill is down. Trying to get accurate with the last one. I don't think there was a lot of tanks at Monte Cassino, not from the German side, considering it was mostly just a bombed out abbey or fortress on the ridge that was left. And uh, the Allies would bomb it daily, uh, either with artillery, obviously, or just with uh, bombers. That's what initially happened, anyway. And I'm not sure if there was any tanks on the German side of things, but. You know, if there was, then I guess this would be sort of realistic. But I, like I said, I'm not really sure. I don't really remember the accurate, uh, the accuracy of there being armor or not. But this, is, this guy's having a great time. This lobbing. Oh, wow. That was a good hit. Did we take out all these mortars yet? Nope. Can you please hit this? Attack ground. Okay. Slowly rotating. Let's watch this for a second. The question is, is it going to hit or not? Is it just going to sit there and do nothing? That's what it looks like. Oh, no, it's coming closer. <clears throat> As is tradition, it wouldn't be a Men of War game if it didn't crash because a certain... Uh, okay, okay. I can actually see the error. It has to do with the fact that a certain Panzer V, aka the Panther, was running the wrong ammo that wasn't actually a thing. So because a tiny thing like a bullet was wrong, the entire game has to just crash, which is great. Uh, Men of War, always a great time. i kind of annoyed because I was hoping there would be more to that than just the initial defense, but... Well, to deal with it for now, I will most likely look back at that and maybe go into the editor and mess around a little bit more. But I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the little bit that was given before Bit of War said no, no. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Let's see you guys in the next one. Cheers.